You're really pulling it tight, yeah? Cool. Yeah, there we go. Just there. Yeah. Okay. That'll do. Yeah. Right, so, so what have we got here, Dick? So we've got a standard traditional church organ pipe, which, uh, of course, is an open-ended resonator. Um, you're going to squirt some air at the narrow end, and we'll hear the... First of all, you're going to do the open tube resonance, and then I'm going to just block the end, and I'm going to show that... Um, it continues to resonate, albeit at a different frequency. Okay, so we'll do the first fundamental. Okay, okay so we block it up. Okay. So it's a whole octave, isn't it? I think. It sounds like an octave. Uh, well, maybe yeah, two yeah, octaves yeah, or... Supposed to be between a quarter wave and a half wave. Yeah. Now, it has to be said that I'm using this flexible material just because the cut end isn't um, very smooth, so it's just to try and get a seal. But also, even with this mm. on, there's still a crack at this end, so it's not 100% reflective. But anyway, as you can see, it still resonates despite that. And now we're going to show how this... Okay, so we'll start it off. So effectively the... So that shows it, um, by terminating the end resistively, which this effectively does, it acts as uh, a perfect termination, so you don't get any resonance. Basically the wave comes along and then it just dies in the tube, rather than bouncing back either out of phase with the open end or in phase with the closed end. It just stops reflecting. Yep. And this is what you get with your and that's uh, the, 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 the gear principle. That's right. Well, yeah, all our vivid drivers, we have an exponential absorber in some form or another, either, either directly on the back of the driver or at the end yeah. of the cabinet. Right. Oh, good.